15%. That is how many shares in meme stock AMC jumped yesterday after CEO Adam Aaron sent out a tweet aimed at the Reddit crowd to be ready for their upcoming earnings in August. The tweet went out just before the opening bell and stated, I keep getting asked when pounce. <laughs> know this. Number one, I always keep my word. Number two, I've said publicly a pounce would not happen before second quarter of 2022 earnings are announced. And number three, press release issued today that Q2 earnings will be announced on Thursday, August 4th. Read between the lines. CJ, uh, do you think we'll see another wave from the Reddit diamond hands as AMC earnings arrive? GameStop splits, and GameStop announces the loss of the CFO with a string of layoffs. A lot going on here. Well, sure. Why wouldn't we? I mean, they, they look for any reason to jump up and dance and do all their things in diamond hands and get on rocket ships and all that. You know, uh, look at what happened with GME over the last couple of days. You already mentioned it. They, they announced that four for one stock split. Stock goes through the roof 15%. And then they followed up by firing their CFO and doing layoffs the day after. I'm seeing 120 is the breaking uh, point for the stock right now. Stock's trading as we head into, uh, what, the last half hour here before it opens up. I look at GME trading at a 128.50, knowing that if it takes out that 120 mark today, this stock is going to be at 100 in the next I'd call it week or so. Um, GME is just fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, won't be fooled again, as uh, President mm -hmm. Bush once said. Um, that this is, I think, the strong hands are starting to get a, a little weaker from punching their the, the basement walls in their mom's houses um, mm -hmm. when they're trading this. So watch for these technicals because the stock. I have noticed that GME has become more sensitive to the technicals as of late, which means that that influence and look at the volume here too. That's going to be a big thing. The volume has dropped off on GME, even though they've had a couple of these headline moments in the last uh, few months. I think that they're, you know, they, they lost their fanboy traders. If we have a break of, uh, I'm looking at this volume profile here, and this is just for the short term. This is a very bearish volume profile. We are approaching that level as we sell off today. So I'm looking for a break of 127.09. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll call it 127. I, I get very, I'm like eight ball. I get to the cent, but sometimes that throws people off. Uh, 127 if we can get some volume on the downside into this range this would be a nice quick quick day trade to 122.42 that is this thing moves fast and like you said it is very sensitive to the technicals